Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video, though, is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this Photoshop Elements project file we're going to clean up this picture. Now there are two problems on this picture. They're both background problems. There's this guy over here, rather embarrassing position as you can see. And then there's some kind of a door in behind this squirrel right there. So two different things. Nothing to worry about right here, but we have our hair right around the edge here. And then we have that. Now in both cases we'll be using the clone stamp tool to remove this stuff, but the important part here is to make sure you do a careful selection to allow you to get that clone stamp tool in nice and tight. Let's start with the top section. That seems to be a little bit easier. So I'll zoom in on that. Now with this kind of hair you could come in and do a real careful masking job on this, try to get some of this wispy stuff. I don't think it's really critical in here. If I was doing it right here I would probably try to get some of that. Up here it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to do that as a straight mask on this. Now before I do this I'm going to copy the background, grab that up to the new layer button like that. Let's hide our background. That way I can always go back to my original if I make any mistakes. So let's grab our polygonal lasso tool, my personal favorite, and I'm just going to come in here and make a real tight selection. Again, I'm not going to worry about those little bit of wispy hair up there. That's not going to be noticeable. No one's even going to think about that. I can leave some here because that window back there is going to actually help. I'm adding a little bit of up and down variation to make it just a little more believable. Once you get to the edge here and move just a, barely against that edge, it's going to automatically scroll, as you can see there. If I went too far over the edge, it would scroll real fast, and I'd be way out of position. As long as you're careful, it will, it will scroll pretty well. Okay, we're down to some sky here. That's fine. I'll just scroll clear over. You can click outside on this, and I actually clicked too fast there. That's a big problem. Click too fast, you get these kind of weird things happening. Now what I want is the area out here selected and not this. Let's just invert that selection. So select invert. Okay, that's back where I want. That's the outside area here right down at that point. That's fine. You know, this we don't need to worry about. That's okay. And then our selection comes over here and it misses this bit in there. That's not selected here. So I'm going to click on the add selection. There it is. Add section and I'll do a new bit right here and just grab this corner like that add that back into my selection again I want to I don't actually don't even need to worry about this we're not going to be getting down that far it's just that edge so we're fine I could come in here and just do a new selection there and subtract that from my selection but I think we're going to be okay on this Let's now grab the clone stamp tool. I can actually zoom out a bit. Hold the Alt key down and zoom out just that much so our edge of our hair is protected. That's what I want. Clone stamp tool. Let's see our size. Size is okay. The sky is pretty even, so I'm just going to grab out here someplace. Click and then I'll come in here and just carefully paint that out. There we go. All right, let's take a look at that spot right there. 
It's a little bit of blue showing through. You can see that kind of blue sky happening in there. And the edge is a little bit hard. We can fix some of that stuff. Make it a little smoother here by using a couple of our tools. First, the sponge tool. And we have a desaturate setting. That allows me to come in here and just remove that color. There we go. Just take out some of that color. Just kind of hides that a bit. Gives her that blue. Make that look more realistic. And then we have a blur tool here. And I can just a couple of taps just on the edge there with that blur tool. It just kind of softens up that edge where I made that selection. That's good. And then we can finish off our clone stamp up here. Click on that and then a little bit of clone stamping. Like that. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, that's fine. There's that's perfectly solved. Now we have the hard part, and that's down in here. What we need to do here is to make a careful selection to protect the bird and this hand. I'm going to first solve this little bit just inside here. Let's just get that taken care of quickly. Grab our lasso tool again, and then coming in here and coming in just right where the the edge of that finger is just fading a little bit. Check it right in the middle of that slight gradient happening there. Okay, that's pretty good. Out here I don't need to be that careful. I'm going to be a little careful right in along the edge here and finish that off. We have our clone stamp tool. Now it's way too big as you can see there. Too much. So let's bring our size down. That's at 30 or 45 rather. Let's bring it down to about 17. Grab a little bit from here and then just clone stamp that in. Alright, that's fixed. That's the easy one. There's a bit of that kind of reddish coloration happening in there. You can use that desaturate on that if you want to just to tone down some of that halo that's happening. That looks good. Let's now work on this area up in here. We'll do this a little bit at a time. Gets clear to the left. Again, the lasso tool. I'm going to start around the beak up here. And just take your time. Don't click this too fast or it's going to mess up your selection. Let me just show you that. If I double click here, it just closes the selection off like that, so you don't want that. Let's just go back here to a new selection. So just make sure you take a breath between each time that you click and you won't have it do that. I, I have that frequently happen. I, I begin to rush a little bit and I click too fast and then I have to redo the selection. So just take your time And right along this finger, I'm just being very careful. See how this how follows your, your cursor on your tool until you click? That's why I like this. I can you know find my next position and then kind of lock that in place with a little click. I'm going to come all the way down to that finger joint right there. Scroll down a little bit and then finish off. This finger being very careful so you try to get that curve in there. If you're working on a curve with this tool you need to be working in very small movements. Just very little shifts and then you can actually get your curve happening very nicely but it does take time and some patience to get this to work out just fine. Alright so if you can get the 
end of that talon in there. And a little bit around that that foot. Okay, that's good. I can now come down and see if we can get the other hand in here. Again, just taking taking your time to make a very careful selection. The whole trick on this particular cleanup is this selection. The clone stamp, that's the easy part. Getting the selection done here, taking the time to get your selection done right, this is what will either make this a great fix or make it a very poor fix. This is where it's going to show. We've already gotten past the hard part. Now it's just a matter of working along that edge. And we're almost, almost done here. Even though I'm away from those pants at this point, I still want to finish this off so that I can not have to worry about getting too close to that edge. Take it back just a little bit further. Again, giving give me some space to work in. Okay, now I can pull it down to the bottom of the picture. Click outside there. Pull to the left-hand side. Click outside. Let's pull to the top. You can see it right there as I pull it up. And then I'll click outside a little bit like that. Pull it in here. And let's come back down and finish that off. Okay, that's now selected on that side. We can zoom out. Hold the Alt key down, zoom out, and let's see how we how well we can take care of this and get this fixed. So I'll grab the clone stamp tool again. Brush is too small now. Let's bring our brush size up. Hundreds too large. 65 looks pretty good. We'll go with a 65. Now it's a matter of just grabbing little bits and doing just a little bit at a time. Luckily, because of this grass texture, this is going to be pretty easy to hide this. No one's going to be noticing where it's duplicating because grass tends to duplicate anyway. That's very natural for grass for there to be some duplication. If you want some variation, just grab from someplace else and put a little bit in. like that and a little bit from up there and then come back in and fill in with your regular tones and that just helps give it a little more of a natural look by having some different variations happen in there let's grab a little bit of this in there and then bring that back out again just a few taps okay I think we've got that looks pretty good let's deselect and zoom back out there we go so there's the original and there is with the cleanup I think I'll take out that little light spot there that's bothering me a little bit I'll think I'm a little bit a little bit darker couple spots there. I think I like that better. Just personal preference. But again, the trick, as you saw there, really wasn't the clone stamp. The clone stamp was pretty easy on this kind of a rough background. The real trick is to take your time on making that selection around those to protect those areas that you want to have protected. As long as you make your careful selections in there, as we did up here as well, then it's easy to clone stamp in and just remove that background. Also on a picture like this because it's just grass nobody's going to look at that area down here so if it's a little off it's not going to matter they're going to be looking at the face and the bird and they're going to be ignoring the background but there we go that is how to do a little bit of a tricky cleanup here again because we're working right against the edge of something and the whole trick is to take your time to do a careful selection thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. 
just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.